Hey my Pokey peeps, so today we're going to be playing with a bit of a VGC team. Unfortunately on Showdown there isn't the setting yet, so we're just going to be doing it in doubles OU uh, and it's going to be 6v6 instead of 4v4, which we're not used to. So let's check it out and see what we've got planned. All right, so this team has become fairly popular uh, on the internet since Wolfie Glick has sort of put it out. Basic gimmick of the team is using Wishmacot and Lucario with the beta. I do kind of like having the fake tears on there because there is the Scarfed Hydreigon that can take advantage of that uh, in an off situation. Then we've just got this absolute beast of a Pokemon, Dracovish, just destroys things. Mr. Mime, the Galarian form, haven't really had much success with it, but I'm still, it still helps in points, so I want to keep that in there. Uh, and Arcanine is probably my least favorite on the team, although it does seem to help with like Ferrothorns and uh, other Pokemon along those lines. So let's see how we go with this team. All right, so we've got a game here. Pretty scary team that we're up against. Potential Trick Room. I'm gonna lead with Cario and Wishmacot. He probably leads with Hitmontop and Corviknight. That would be my lead. Definitely not what I would lead. Uh, I'm gonna beat up the Lucario and then just go for the uh, Knuckles on Melodic. I, I would almost see the Melodic protecting here because like Tyranitar is definitely switching out in my mind. Um, but looks like no switches. I, I think this is going to be a dead melodic. Again, this is a really gimmicky team. Really gimmicky. But a lot of fun to use. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, that goes down. If he goes for an earthquake, we... Oh no, fire punch, don't get the burn. Don't get the burn, we're good. Alright, so... Hit him on top coming in, doing its little, little shim. Um, let's go for a Max Knuckle on the... Actually, no. Let's do that, and then let's go for that on that. He fakes out, doesn't realize that's not going to do anything. Um, and Tyranitar should be going down here. Oh, he had the eject button on him. That kind of is going to work in his favor. That's a good, good item, I guess, for the Hitmon Top to have. It really sort of catches off guard. I think I've got one more turn of Dynamax, which we will need. Um, if he actually no, we we should be fine. The only reason Dynamax matters, actually no, Dynamax. Oh yeah, is the flinch, so he can't send in him on top now. Oh, that's a tricky one. I'm gonna go for. The Draco Vish. Moonblast. And then just go for Steel on Tatarine. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like that does over half. Cool, it does. That does that. And because we move first as well, it doesn't get the boost of Fisius Rand yet. Oh, this, this, this though is a bit of a problem. So he's gonna come in, he can fake out now. Uh, but I'm just going to Moonblast, Dracovish, and Protect. I hope he doesn't predict this. Like, it, it's, it's, it's not really a big boy play. It's a very safe play. Um, but if he fake out the Wishmacot, smart. Does he attack the Wishmacot as well? Yeah, probably was just a bit of an immature move there on his part. So there was no need to, like... If you're predicting that the Lucario is going to protect, which he did, then why double? Like, like I, I don't know why he did that. that. That sort of just made no sense in my brain. Um, I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to um, beat up into Lucario again, just so we get that max uh, attack off. Um, and then we go for the close combat into the Colvin Knight. So he's Dynamaxing here, which will help him, but look. Lucario goes down, we send in um, Dracovish, I Tailwind, and he, okay, I send in anything, he dies. Ooh, 
good play though, because he gets the speed boost, which means Draco Vish is going to be less likely to outspeed, even though Tailwind will double our speed. What do we do? What do we get? Does it work? Okay, that does work. Cool. So, that was a really great example of how this team works. Uh, he switched a little bit, but probably not to his benefit. Um, let's try and find another game, see how we go. Alright, so this guy's using the updated version of the team, which is pretty funny, I have to say. I'm gonna leave with Wish Scott and Lucario here. Now, let's put the timer on. If I was him, I would be leading with Arcanine and Dracovish, probably not. Um, I'm gonna beat up Lucario and Max Knuckle for Dracovish. I've got no reason not to. The Arcanine, although it is the biggest threat to the Lucario in terms of it having the... Um... Oh, Grimmsnarl comes in. That'll still definitely go down though. Now, I kind of think I'm going to switch Fake Tears for Taunt. Um, because I, I think Taunt... No, because he's also a Dark type. Um, does he just go for the Willow or does he go for the Flare Blitz? Yeah, he goes for the Willow. Smart move there. It hugely reduces um, my efficacy there. We can just go for the Max Knuckle now on the Arcanine. It probably won't kill. Um, but do we kill? Are we still? No, we're not that strong. Look, I'm just going to go for that and then a Max Steel Strike on the Wish Pop. Potentially sending Ian Arcanine here, but I think he might just be losing his Wish Pop. Oh no, uh, Death Sash. Yeah. Um, what can he do now? Arcanine coming back in. Moonblast there. And close combat there. Alright, so he outsped. Not really the biggest deal, but he loses Arcanine now. Um, now he's really only got um, Lucario, but, but I think I'm still in a better spot. I can just fake out that and then close combat with Lucario. If we win the speed tie of the Lukes, then um, we're in a really good spot. But he Dynamaxes, we fake out. He doesn't get his boost here, but he does outspeed, so he will kill us. Um, but we're still in an okay spot here. Let's go into Dracovish. I'm going to go for a Psy Shock on the Lucario as well as a Fisius Ren. So the Lucario is definitely what I'm more afraid of. I don't even know what the Bravery set is. That shouldn't kill though, yeah. And this should do a fair bit still. We get the crit, I don't think it mattered to be completely honest. Okay, Bravery, uh, Tailwind up, let's just go for these. I don't think Bravery can win against four, um, so he's just gonna forfeit there. But see, he just didn't play the team overly well. Um, I think it all went wrong with the Grim Snarl. I don't know why, I think he went straight for the, um, play rough. I'm, I'm pretty sure the updated team is like light screen, screen reflect, play rough, and something or other else. Um, unless he just forgot to put Prankster on, which is the other potential. Um, but yeah, I, he just didn't play the team as effectively as I probably um, could see. There was a lot of little um, situations where he could have switched, didn't switch, or did switch and shouldn't have switched, uh, and just didn't make great use of the prankster users on his team. Alrighty guys, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I'm posting, or I've put out a video, so it really helps me out. Uh, make sure you guys get to see all the amazing content that we're putting together here. If you did enjoy this video, check out some of my others. You'll see them on the screen now. Anyways, 